One of the things I'd recommend is getting the Batch Styler plugin from Figma. The Batch Styler plugin will make it really easy to update all the typography styles that are used throughout the project. So I already have the Batch Styler plugin installed. So I'm going to go ahead and run that from the Plugins menu. And we can see once the Batch Styler appears, all of my typography styles are loaded. And now to really illustrate the update in real time, I'm going to go to the heading pages with all of the heading components, the headers. And I'll move this out of the way. And I can zoom in so we can see a few of these components. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to update all of my H1, H2, H3 headings, etc., all the way to H6. So all my headings I'm going to update to be instrument serif. And I'm going to update all the body copy text to be intertype. So starting with heading H1, I'm going to select that. And then holding shift, I'm going to select heading H6. And then where it says font family right here, I can update Roboto to be instrument serif. And once I've selected instrument serif, we notice we're going to get this warning icon for the weight. And that's because instrument serif specifically only comes in regular and italic. So I can update the weight to be regular and we will lose that warning symbol. So I can go ahead and update these styles. And we can see that now all of the H2 headings in this component, these components have been updated to be instrument serif.